Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. The number one question I get asked from you guys is something along the lines of, what is your absolute favorite deer cartridge? Or you guys also ask me all the time, which is pretty much the same question. I'm about to get a new bang bang, or I'm getting into deer hunting. What do you recommend? Uh, and I tell everybody the same thing. But everything you see in front of me is legal for me to deer hunt where I live. It might not be where you live, so check all your regulations and what whatnot before you go spending some moolahs on some stuff. But quick video from me answering that question. What is the absolute best cartridge if you're going out in the woods chasing some deers? or in the fields, or in the desert, or in the mountains, wherever you are chasing that big game. Let's take a quick look at these, run down the row, and we're going to talk about them quick, try to help answer that question. Next time somebody asks me, I'll send them this video. Hey guys, if you're watching this video, you're going to love my favorite game on my phone, that is Hunting Clash. I absolutely love it. You can ask my wife or kids. I play it all the time in the car, late at night, always trying to get to the next level. Download Hunting Clash. Go to the description down below and in my pinned comment. Go check it out. It is the best hunting game on the internet and on your phone. I guarantee it. Go down below, check out the link, check out Hunting Clash and download it. Check this out. All right, guys. So when you open up the app, you're going to want to click this in the top go up and enter in your gift code i'll give you the code right here on the screen so you know what to type in they're going to give the hootie who viewers a bunch of goodies don't forget to put that code in but check it out i've already unlocked a whole Ooh, i gotta upgrade some animals there i've already unlocked quite a few levels i got montana namibia kamchatka burma every single one of these has different kind of animals you can see here all kinds of stuff and every level has its own weapon. So let me go up this one. I've got that unlocked. I haven't unlocked these two. Check this out on Kamchatka. You actually get a bazooka to hunt with. I still have got to unlock that. But one of the coolest parts about the game is the duels down in the bottom left there on the screen. You can duel another player and it'll automatically grab somebody. You can see there. Hoo -hoo. Ooh, we got to get some Ibex. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, there's a nice one. Ooh, that's a new record for that. Got him, 100%. Ooh, we're winning, we're winning. 100%. Oh, I think they gave up. Yeah, woo, who did who wins a game. But y'all check out Hunting Clash. It's a sweet game. Go check out for the link down below. Make sure you get the bonus points with the special who do who code. But way down here on the end, anybody have any idea what that is? I'm going to try to run through them quick, or this will be a three-hour long video. 50 BMG. That's a Hornady AMAC 750 grainer. Yep. We can take deers with that, no problem. Right next to it, 338 Lapua Magnum. That'll take a deer. I've done it myself. Mule deer in Montana with my buddy, Clayton. This one, 300 Remington Ultra Mag. Ooh, boy. That one will knock your teeth out if you're not careful. 300 rum is a beast. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer here. Next to that 300 rum, we have the 500 Jeffrey. That is a African safari round with about twice the force or energy of a 30 out six. Pretty insane. Next beside yeah. that, we have the 338 Win Mag, one of my personal favorites. Then we have the 300 Win Mag. Then we have the 7mm Remington Magnum. Then, I'm going to cheat and look at the bottom. I think this is the 35 Whelan. Yep, 35 Whelan. Some people call it a Whelan. This one right here. Also another one of my favorites. Then we have the 257 Weatherby Magnum. Incredible cartridge. Now we're getting into some I'm going to have to look. That one right there, we got the 25-06, another one of my favorites. <laughs> They're all my favorites. Then we have a 30-06, 
then we have a 270 then we have the pretty new 68 western super powerful flat shooting around in a short action then this is a 303 british then we got 4570 then we got 35 remington 32 winchester 3030 winchester then i'm gonna have to start looking we got seven millimeter 08 this one looks real similar i got two seven millimeter 08s how'd that happen i said they look real similar that's because they were the exact same thing let me scoot these over here seven millimeter 08 then we have the six five creedmoor that's become pretty popular these days then what in the devil's this one 243 winchester fantastic cartridge then this one I got to look too. Ah, the six millimeter Creedmoor next to the 243. Very close. Then this one down here, we got 22250. I love 22250. Then we got a 204 Ruger, a 450 Bushmaster with those cool green tips. That's a Remington Aki tip, pretty rad looking. 350 Legend. This is a 223 Remington. 300 blackout then we got a 12 gauge slug then we have a muzzle loader that is a power belt right there then i threw in there just for giggles a uh, crossbow bolt this one still has some deer hairs on it from this year all right so that covers pretty much everything that you can find in a store near you and then some some of these are a little bit more oddball than others but we still got to answer what is the ultimate cartridge? So, I'm going to answer that question. But first, will all of these take a deer? Absolutely yes, without a doubt. If you asked me, hey, I've got XYZ, can I deer hunt with that? I would tell you, absolutely yes. Uh, might not be the perfect one for you, depending on where you live and how far you're going to fling them. But... All of these will take a deer, without a doubt, no questions. You can't argue that with me. All of that, all of that being said, me personally, I have taken big game, lots of deer, with, you know what's not in there? A 308 Winchester. How could I forget 308? Let me go grab a 308. All right, 308 Winchester, where would we have put it? Right in there, probably between the 303 British and the 4570. Can't forget 308. That's one of the most popular ones, man. But that being said, I've taken a lot of big game, a lot of deer, lots of it on film. So I'm going to break these down. I'm going to take the ones away that I haven't taken deer with. And I'm only going to speak at you from my personal experience and what I can tell you. So let me be right back. I'm going to narrow this down to the ones that I have taken deer with or other big game. All right, so we made the list a little bit smaller, and I'm going to tell you a real quick story on all these, and if I have some hunting footage, I'll roll it in. This is the part of the video where I say viewer discretion is advised. You may, you will, see some big game hunting footage in the rest of this video. First tier, the biggest one, 338 Lapua Magnum. Believe it or not, I took a nice mule deer with my 338 Lapua Magnum up in Montana with my buddy Clayton. Let me roll in some quick footage of that hunt. 338 Lapua versus Montana mule deer. That'll take a deer, no doubt. Savage 110 BA Stealth in 338 Lapua Magnum. We've got videos shooting this off a bench rest at a thousand yards over and over very accurately so i could not be happier came up here to montana to hang out with my buddy clayton the adventure cowboy and we've been having literally an adventure every single day this week this is the third day we've been out here next 338 wind mag one of my personal favorites it's a big one lots of power i have taken a psycho deer with this and a hog with this. Let me roll in some footage quick. Me hunting with a 338 Wind Mag powerhouse. All right, Adam, I told you things were bigger in Texas. Was I right? <laughs> Woohoo! 
Look at the size of that psycho, fellas. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Animal. It's really heavy too. So we kind of named this thing Arnie because he's built like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, piggy, piggy down. 338 wind rate. It'll take a deer, no doubt. Which one is this? This, 25 out 6. Why'd I put that in there? I have been taking a deer with that one. I just love it. But uh, 30 out 6 is next. 30 out 6 Springfield, very popular around. Lots of people like to hunt with it. I took a big old red stag with 30 out six uh, here pretty recently, actually. Check out the footage of that. deer on the wall by far that is for sure look how big his ears are he's got like donkey ears i could not be more excited so 30 out six springfield on that red stag it was a perfect heart shot he went about 40 yards and then that was all she wrote perfect heart shot next one this is the 270 i have taken whitetail with the 270 but that was before i did filming uh the ones that I took with 270, lung shots, and they all went about 50 yards or so. Haven't um, hunted with 270 in a long time. Like I said, that was before I started filming. Uh, which one is this? 308 Winchester. Took a monster fallow deer with the 308 Winchester. Took a monster fallow deer with the 308 Winchester. It was a heart shot slash lung shot. That fallow deer went about 15 yards and then piled up. 308 Winchester, it'll take a deer. Next is the 4570. Lots of people are 4570 fans. I took a big old monster axis buck with my 4570. Check out that footage real quick. That hit on that axis buck was a high shoulder shot. A little bit higher. It was up kind of in no man's land, and that axis buck actually went over 100 yards. Uh, but the 4570 took him. That's a fact. Next is the 7mm 08. I've got video footage of me taking a whitetail doe with 7mm 08. Check out this footage. That hit, that was a 130 yard shot on that doe, and it was also a high shoulder shot, shocked the spine, didn't take another step. So, you kind of see what I'm getting at here, maybe. This one is a 243 Winchester. We recently filmed a hunt with my son taking two whitetail with my 243. 
Check out this footage. Both of those whitetail were heart shots. That's what I've trained my son to do with 243 heart shots. One of those whitetail went about 15 yards. The other one went about 50 yards or so. Both of them heart shots with the 243. Six millimeter Creedmoor. That's this one right here. Looks a lot like a 243. Six millimeter Creedmoor. My son this past year took a monster fallow deer with six millimeter Creedmoor. Check out that footage here real quick. Got him. Got him. You got him. Good shot. Good shot, Robert. Yes! You got him! My son had a perfect heart shot on that fallow deer with a 6mm Creedmoor. Big deer. That was a big deer. A lot of people say 6mm Creedmoor is too small. He had a perfect heart shot. That fallow deer, I don't think he went 10 yards. 243, we also filmed a hunt with my son doing a black buck hunt. Check that footage out. Got him. Got him. Watch him. He's gonna go. He fell down. Yes, dude. He fell down. Yes, dude. Dude, I'm so proud of you. You did a perfect shot. But on that black buck, he's about 120, 125 yards away. Perfect heart shot. That uh, black buck went about 15, 20 yards, and that was all she wrote. 450 Bushmaster. I've taken whitetail with 450 Bushmaster. None, none of them I had the actual shot on film that I recall, but 450 Bushmaster, the ones that I've gotten inside 100 yards, all lung shots, and even with the lung shots, immediately hit the dirt. Then we've got the 223 Remington. My son took a big old ram with the 223 Remington. Check this footage out. Good shot, Bobby. Good shot, Bobby. Perfect heart shot. He went down and that ram didn't go maybe five yards or so. 22 to 50. I'm a big fan of 22 to 50. We've got videos flinging these bull lights at a thousand yards. Go check that out. But 22 to 50, my son took a ram with that. Check out that footage. Ooh, good shot. Good shot, mate. Similar story to some of these others. He hit him in the lungs. Did not go very far. That ram probably went five yards or so. 22, 250. Don't sleep on it. It's really fast. That speed, it just gets him. 12 gauge slug. So, the biggest whitetail buck I've ever taken was a 12 gauge slug. Where I hunt, there's a lot of zones that are shotgun and muzzleloader only. 12 gauge slug, I don't have any video footage, but let me show you a picture right here. The biggest whitetail I've ever taken. It was on public land with a 12 gauge slug. That buck right there, biggest whitetail buck I've ever got. <clears throat> Next, muzzle loader. 
Let me roll in some hunting footage of me taking some whitetail with muscle on her. Muzzle loader, don't sleep on a muzzle loader. I muzzle load hunt because I can get in the woods and hunt before all the rifle guys. Uh, but that first deer you saw was a small whitetail buck at 15 yards or so. He went about 15 yards and then piled up. That was a lung shot. The second one was a doe at 120 yards. Uh, perfect heart shot, and she went about 20 yards. Uh, muzzle loader, take a deer too. Then, let me roll in. We took quite a few deer with crossbow this year. Let me roll in some quick footage of some deer we got this year with the crossbow. Got her. Got her. Got her. This buck right here. I got him, perfect heart shot, 55 yards. He ran, I can't remember, maybe 50, 60 yards. All that being said, let me tell you my opinion on what is the ultimate cartridge. So, the first question I ask people is, where do you hunt? When they ask me that question. Because if you hunt around me in Tennessee, on public land, there's not a lot of places that have open fields. There are some where you can get two, 300 yard shots. Most of the areas that I hunt, our whitetail shots are within a hundred yards. So if that's where you hunt, uh, really you could use just about anything. But if you're out West, um, there's a select few cartridges that I ask people. Um, and we talk about what's your, you know, Willingness to take on some recoil versus um, do you want to use something like a 243 that's flat, but um, or do you want to go up to a, a 338 Lapua? I never recommend people deer hunt with that, but 7 millimeter mag I recommend uh, for people that hunt out west. 7 millimeter mag is awesome. So it's a 25 out 6, it's pretty flat. Some people like the 300 wind mag, but now I'm rambling. Let me get to the point of all this that I'm trying to get at. You can hunt with any of these, with any of these off to the side that I said I haven't personally taken deer with. It all comes down to shot placement. You need to be hunting with a tool that you can precisely tell me exactly where you're going to hit. And when you squeeze that trigger off, that's exactly where you're going to hit. So if that's a 338 Lapua or a 338 Wind Mag, hey, have at it. If it's a 223 Remington, it will take a deer. Um, if you can put that boo lot exactly where you want it, it'll take a deer too. But here's what I'm getting at. Let me pop up a picture of a deer right here and let me tell you what I'm talking about. It's all about the shot placement, guys. Shot placement, shot placement, shot placement, shot placement. Let me tell you what I do. I'll tell you exactly what I do. If it's 50 yards and in, nine times out of 10, I'm going for a neck shot on a deer. You hit him in the neck, if it's in 50 yards, it's a guarantee I'm not gonna miss the shot. I'm going for the neck. Generally speaking, neck shots will immediately drop them. It's a nervous system shock. And it's lights out right there. 100% ethical. Hit them in the neck. It will drop them. Shot placement is 100% key. 50 yards and in. 
I know it's not going to miss. I'm very confident. Next shot. Doesn't mess up the meat. You get all of the meat. You don't blow the shoulders out. Um, buck I took with this 338 Lapua, man. Both of his front shoulders were just about ruined. Uh, but next shot, it's a good shot. If you are confident in your abilities, uh, 100 yards and past, I generally speaking, go for a heart shot. So a lot of people go for the lungs. A lot of people just go for the shoulder. I don't like hitting the shoulder, like I said. It just grenades that shoulder bone, and you end up losing a lot of meat. So I showed you a bunch of footage in there with heart shots. That's what I teach my kids to do. That's what I do. Um, if I'm not confident in that neck shot or the spine shot, that central nervous system shock, I go for the heart. Even when I'm bow hunting or crossbow hunting, I go for the heart. You get them in the heart, guys, they're not going to go far. You can hit them in, in part of the lungs, and they can still run a long, long way. I know I've tracked a deer a long, long way with lung shots. Uh, some people will teach you, hey, go for the lung shots. It's a bigger area. But if you study the animal that you're pursuing, you've got to know where everything is. Um, if you're not sure, ask an expert. Uh but yeah, it's all about shot placement. If you can hit them in the heart with your 450 Bushmaster and get a good group, hey, take the 450 Bushmaster. If you don't like recoil, but you really love your 22 250, hey, go practice with it. Go uh, find some ammo that your rifle really likes to where you can thread the needle every time and you can tell me, hey man, I aim for the heart, I got him in the heart. Or, I aimed for that little white patch on the neck. I got him and he dropped. So, <clears throat> the whole point of the video, shot placement is key. There's lots of these things out there to choose from. There's a whole long list. Muzzle loader, crossbow, 7mm 08, 7mm mag. There's a thousand different ones you could take out there hunting. The key to me, what I'm going to tell you when you ask me, is shot placement it's not irrelevant the cartridge it definitely matters where you're hunting obviously the regulations on what you can use but two how far you're going to have to send it and three is how much recoil do you want and really your abilities um me i'm into the precision stuff like i said i want to hit him in the heart i want to hit him in the neck um if you have it down with your practice that you can hit exactly where you're aiming every time. That is what's key. If you can do that with a 243, well then take your 243. If you can do that with a seven millimeter mag, well then take your seven millimeter mag. Uh, but the key thing for me is, with your rifle, find that ammo that your rifle really likes and you can get those tight groups and call your shots. Once you find one, that you like and you can get those good tight groups under an inch at 100 yards that is what you need to be hunting with like i said we've taken deer with the little bitty uh six millimeter creedmoor big deer with the six millimeter creedmoor then we're taking big deer with the 338 lapua magnum but i'm not going to ramble on anymore i could talk about deer hunting and hunts all day but that's what's key. If you didn't hear anything else in this video, shot placement is key. Get you a rifle or crossbow, muzzleloader, shotgun, where you have practiced and you can tell me exactly where you're going to place that projectile. That's the one you need to hunt with. Uh, but hit me up anytime you got questions. If I can help you or if I know the answer, I will absolutely answer you go download hunting clash check out all the links down below i know you're gonna love it use that special code they've given us for the hootie who viewers you're gonna love it check it out appreciate you watching we'll catch you guys on the next one hootie hoo
like to shoot.